All right, it is August. It's uh, August far four, I think. Yeah. Anyway, it's uh, mid season, I guess you could call it. And as you can see, the garden is fairly well filled in, and a few stories to tell, as there is every year. Season started off seeming well enough, going well enough, but I. Uh, had a little bit of problems germinating. I had problems germinating my favorite Trombacino squash. And I'm still not sure I'm doing all that well. But everything else seemed to be doing okay. Then along came woodchucks. They were here, but they finally found out the garden was there and in they came. Um, Judy claimed there was more than one. Um, it devastated the broccoli plants, the, well, a whole bunch of things that I'll show you. but. I'm amazed that they've been able to bounce back. Well, I did something new this year. I've grown some of the things right in these pots. So we have Swiss chard, a cucumber plant there, a couple more cucumber plants here, a, a tomato plant. I think these are, they may be beefsteak because they're pretty big, but they're certainly medium sized tomatoes. And we have some squash over here. Oh yeah, do we have squash? I got something to pick. Look at this. Look at that. Oh yeah. We have picked some already. And here's the big surprise is that nothing seemed to be in the way of these pole beans sprouting up this year. So every single one of these window boxes with pole beans in them have germinated and they're making their way up the uh, fence. So I'm thinking I'm going to have lots of pole beans when these things actually get around to starting to make beans. And once they start, they keep going. Oh, they already have. I just spotted some. Some right there. Where is it? Come on. I see it in front of me, but I'm not seeing it on the viewfinder here. Huh. Why am I not seeing it? Well, it's right there. Yeah, and uh, there'll be lots more where that came from. Okay, so holy mackerel, we have tomatoes coming in, full-size ones. Everything is suddenly starting to uh, come in. And, uh, I'm kind of happy about that. Um, look at this. These are beef steakers already starting to come in. And cherries. Cherries had just started, and usually we get well into the cherry tomatoes before the beef steaks. That's not the way it's going this year. Huh. Looks like there's a... Yeah, I'm going to have to pull that out. That's a morning glory vine in amongst the tomato. i got to pull it out and aim it up here to the wall of glory, which is, in fact, uh, as you can see, it is bl blossoming there. They're closed up now, but they'll open up in the morning. Like they say, morning glory. So, uh, the, this whole wall was completely covered in past years. The uh, woodchucks liked it, and they devastated the opposite side of it, and it was late coming up this year, because they were still eating away. But uh, I captured one woodchuck, and there don't seem to be any more that are attacking. So now things are rebounding. Wonderful nothingness of Mother Nature. They ate these uh, cabbage plants. I can't imagine these are going to head up, but you know what? Maybe. I'm, they may actually head up. These are the Brussels sprout plants. Again, it looks like they're finding a way to rebound. So, uh, boy, I don't know. It, uh, it does look like a lot is trying to rebound here. I got celery which hasn't done much. Tomato, uh, peppers, which I've picked a few of. More squash. Over there are bush beans. I've picked quite a few of those. There's still more to be picked. More tomatoes. I have lots of tomato. Corn came up. Uh, the snow peas, they kind of started to devastate those. I don't know. We did broccoli here somewhere, too. And I don't know if that rebounded. I don't see any sign of it. It may be here somewhere rebounded but after we're looking so we're getting definitely getting squash and the corn plants also over here and over here lots of 
Jerusalem artichokes. They ate a lot of this, and I figured, well, you know, no biggie there. I'll just dig them up under where they ate them and uh, harvest those because they're underground. You don't lose the artichokes. But uh, they're coming back. They're rebounding, too. I know I've got probably a good amount of Jerusalem artichoke under there. I need to dig some out for Judy sometime. And I'll see for getting any peas. This probably was the worst hit. I don't see much happening here. So I'll probably end up clearing this area within not too long a distance of time here. And then we have uh, cat mint. Oh, they love this down at the Animal Rescue League. Big bush of cat mint. And over in that corner over there is cat nip. That's what I wish I had as much of as I have this cat mint. But I, it died off. Uh, I found out i probably got to mulch it in the winter to keep it alive. So that's what I'll be doing. Well, that's the quick tour.